guess how long this animation took me. If you said anything over 10 minutes, you're wrong. It took me 5. Now imagine spending hours on only one animation. You'd be wasting so much time and stressing yourself out. But don't worry, we're gonna fix that issue together. And I'll also break down the biggest mistakes that slowing your process down and how to avoid them and start animating smarter. Let's get into it. First of all, if you don't know what to animate, simply go to Leonardo AI, simply write a prompt of the picture you want to animate and simply just create it. Now you're gonna have to download this picture and simply put it into Photoshop. Once your picture is inside of Photoshop, what you're gonna have to do is simply separate the different subjects that you want to be separated from the background. So as you can see, I got my main subject, which is the guy on the horse, and I got the other horses in the background. So what I'm gonna do is simply pick the selection tool and simply selection it my main subject. And then I'm simply gonna copy and paste them into another layer so, it's, so it can be separated. Now what I'm gonna do is simply hide my subject and, and select the background layer. And what I'm gonna do is simply make a rough selection around my subject and simply click on the generative fill option right there to delete it from the background. Now I'm simply gonna do that all over again for the other parts of the pictures. Now that this is done, I'm gonna take care of the background cloud right there. I can just put it into another layer simply by selecting it, copy and paste it into another layer and delete it from the background, as simple as that. So I will select the land and I'll copy and paste it into another layer. And now this, after this, I'm gonna select my background gonna make a rough selection to the land to delete it with a rough with a generative fill feature once everything is set up and separated what you can do is simply save your photoshop project open an after effects project and simply import your photoshop file inside of your after effects now what you're gonna have to do is simply select the composition option and click on the separate layers option too. So I'm gonna start animating and I'm gonna show you the first way to animate and this is the way that all of you guys use this. It wastes so much time, so much time consuming. So what you basically do is simply select every single layer and convert them into 3D. Then you're gonna have to pull out a four view perspective of the camera to see what you're doing. And you're gonna have to select each individual layers and try to play around with them in the 3d space to have a decent depth feel for your 3d animation and it's the longest task and it's not it can take up so much time if you have a lot of layers you will also have to create a 3d camera and change its parameters to your liking but i found another way to do it which is simply better Now let's say I reset everything I just did and I have a blank After Effects project. Now with my plugin, what you're gonna have to do is simply click on this button right there and it's gonna automatically create a 3D camera for you and convert all of your layers into 3D. And it's also gonna position them in a 3D space for you so it can look smooth and have a lot of depth. If you're not happy with the default depth that it gives you, you can also change it to the room size as you can see right there. There's also a 3D camera controller slider like that. And as you can see, it just took me three seconds to just set up my 3D scene. So now I can just simply start making my animation. So I'm simply gonna make a simple keyframe animation. I'm gonna add a graph and nothing nothing too crazy. But the main point of this video is to, is to show you guys that there's better and faster way to make 3D animation. And it's not by working harder, but working smarter. And the plugin also comes with a 3D camera shake. All you have to do is simply checkbox this thing right there and you can also change the parameters of the shake and it's a really realistic shake so if you guys want a realistic result you can do it if you want to speed up your workflow and get this plugin right there link will be in the description and if you get this plugin 
you'll have another one on my website for free it's basically a buy one get one free deal and once you know this technique you can watch this hour long video on how to animate from a to z it's pretty pretty information packed and i think you will like it a lot